I'm Ayana, and this is Andre. After college, instead of chasing the American dream, we decided to chase our dream, the dream of travel. This led us to purchase our sailboat Nainda, a Hunter 34 monohull. Follow along to see where the wind takes us. Sasha texted me again. They said they're motoring all the way across. Yeah. It's 3.26 a.m. We're in No Name Harbor right now. We're getting ready to head out to do our crossing to Bimini. Our friends Raf and Sasha, or Sasha just texted me and said that they left like a half hour ago. <laughs> and they said they're motoring across. So they stayed up in Fort Lauderdale and decided to just go straight across so they have to point south a little bit and there's southerly winds so they're having trouble finding the right angle. Um, but we came down to Miami specifically for that reason and we've got southerlies. Hopefully we'll be able to sail straight on a beam the whole way. But we just gotta get things tied down, gotta put some dishes away and then we'll start the engine and get ready to motor out and then once we're out there, we'll just put the sails up. Hopefully we can sail the whole way. It's gonna be like 10 hours. So we're, the reason we're waking up so early is so we can get there in the daylight. So we can see what we're doing. Avoid any like big coral heads when we get there. Just sitting our course. We got a Wi-Fi puck here, but we have to get the SIM card once we get there, and I don't think we're gonna get that until we're in Nassau. We're gonna do three separate, like, 10-hour hops, so that'll take us about three days, because we're not gonna go straight through to Nassau. Um, so we're gonna be without Wi-Fi for about that time, and we won't be able to download weather or charts, so we're trying to think of everything now. I'm trying to get all my audiobooks and music and everything that I think we'll need uh, for the next three days and most importantly the weather and the charts obviously. Any last words? I'm tired. I'm ready to get going. Alright, let's do it. Bye Miami. <laughs> I am just giddy right now. I'm so excited. And you're still sleeping? <laughs> I think I'm an I'm a night sailor. <laughs> because as soon as the sun comes up, I know I'm gonna be falling asleep. Oh no, there's something exhilarating about the night. I always say it, but I'll say it again. I wish that the camera could pick up the stars. It's like the perfect night. 15 knots on a beam, we're cruising at 5 knots, 1 foot waves, it's beautiful. We're doing it, Bahamas bound, it's 5am, we're just cruising into darkness right now, we can't see anything, but it's a nice calm sail. Yeah, the city lights are going to disappear soon. I think sailing in the Bahamas is going to be a little different because there's not going to be a lot of city lights. That's what we're used to. We've been cruising down the coastline of the U.S. pretty much in, in sight of land the whole time. So I think the Bahamas is going to be a lot darker. We should have gotten a better spotlight, I think. <laughs> How do you think you're going to feel about being surrounded by darkness? <laughs> I know plenty of people who are afraid of the dark. I mean, I'm afraid of the dark, but not like, not sailing into it. I'm afraid of the dark. I think we'll struggle with seeing the, like the direction of the waves when it's really dark. You know what I mean? Like it's pretty calm right now, but if the waves picked up from a bad angle, I feel like that would be 
challenging in the dark trying to figure out the best, like how to hit them right. I don't know. Nice. Are they bad? Oh. I'm calling these passage pancakes. been here before and I remember the water being this blue but this is crazy this is like I don't know I guess being here on my own boat it makes it, it makes it that much more enjoyable all right so we made it to Bimini we're at Big Game Harbor right now we just anchored I'm gonna go to shore and check us in Dre's gonna watch the boat because it's really shallow here So Ayana went to go to the customs office and I'm just hanging out here because we're in this little tight anchorage. We're reading like five feet on the depth sounder, which means we have maybe a foot under the keel. When she gets back, we'll probably go to a more comfortable anchorage and hang out for the night. We all checked in. I got our cruising permit. <laughs> you gotta tell them about the change of plans. Oh yes. So we were gonna do three separate hops and take our time from Bimini to Chub Key to Nassau in three 10 hour hops, just so we can get some sleep and not deprive ourselves of that but our friends wanted to keep going so we did 10 hours to Bimini checked in there left straight away and now we are headed straight to Nassau so it's gonna be about a 24-hour expedition <laughs> with them and there they are ahead of us Okay. Oh, it's 
I caught a Spanish mackerel and then I had trouble killing it. I don't know if it was just like the nervous system like that kept going, but it seemed like it was still like gasping for not air, but you know, <laughs> filtration through the gill. That's my first filet ever. So, what do you think? Not bad. <laughs> we just caught a Spanish mackerel and we are salty and fishy and free. Nick, white spotted. No way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> when the water is clear, huh? <laughs> when we were in North Carolina, they kept like spooking us because they would pop up but we couldn't see them beneath the water. Spirit animal, spirit animal. I'm going six miles per hour. Is your GPS in miles per hour or not? Knots. Uh, it's in knots. What do we have all on? Alright, I'm gonna change mine so we don't gotta do all this math. Sounds like a plan. How are you guys looking on fish? Dude, we don't have enough room in our freezer. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> things we have to look out for. So we're about to enter a minefield of bombies, they're called. They're like massive coral heads that breach the surface even in deep enough water for us to sail through. So this is what the chart's looking like now. So we're about to go through all these red dots, which are big rock formations or coral heads along our course that we'll have to bob and weave to avoid and we'll have to do it without the sun uh, we were planning on hitting this area in the daytime but as we said before the plans changed and we decided to hike it with our friends so now we don't have the luxury of daylight
much sarcasm about the crab, but it's so clear. <laughs> So it is our first official full day in the Bahamas. We got here yesterday around 6 p.m., went for a quick swim, settled down, and this morning we are just recovering, putting stuff back in its place. Do some engine work, we ran it pretty hard, and we just got invited to go spear fishing. So I think we're gonna get picked up and get out of here and hopefully we can get our first uh, Bahamian hogfish. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Hopefully I can hold my breath. It's been a while since I've been free diving. So we just got back from spear fishing. We saw a tiger shark, about probably 10 to 12 foot tiger shark. Our friends caught two mutton snappers, a mackerel, Dre got a trigger fish, and we're gonna go have dinner with them shortly. The shark was pretty cool. It just came up to our flasher that we had dangling and checked it out and then left. And that was pretty early on in the dive, so <laughs> we were watching our backs pretty much the whole time full day of diving. Our first full day of diving was great and earlier we got some boat work done, some uh, changed our now transmission oil so now time to eat. Another beautiful sunset. It has been so relaxing. Me and Dre were just talking this morning. We woke up our first time waking up in the Bahamas and we both just felt so relaxed. We still had things to do, like we changed the transmission oil today because our transmission was actually slipping on the way here. Of course, these things always happen to us, but luckily that helped so it's working good now. Anyways, even though we had projects and responsibilities, we still felt really relaxed here, like just at peace and happy. And we're still feeling that way. Dre lost a fin on a dive today, so it's kind of upsetting because 
it's not that easy to get fins around here and obviously we wanted to be diving every day but tomorrow we're actually going for a day sail down to the other side of the island where all the the city the tourism is so that we can get a dinghy dock to land do a little uh, grocery shopping and get some more lures so we lost a few lures along the way but for tonight we're gonna go eat fish with our friends have some drinks and just relax after a full day of diving.